The Mugshot coffee shop in Ferrum is not just a place where you can buy cake or get toast. It's also providing training for those with learning disabilities. The coffee shop was opened last year after its owner saw how difficult it was for her own children to get a job. I felt there was a need for the project that I was doing. It's for people with learning difficulties to come along and go on the training scheme and learn the different skills they need for future employment and also life skills. And I think it was really, really needed um, because I've got a daughter with uh, a disability and I've got also got a son who's disabled. And uh, their frustration was they could never even get an interview because of their, the problems that they have. I've applied like loads of jobs and I've filled out 12 forms of pages and if you click disability on the tick, they won't take you on. How did you feel about that? Um, I was obviously depressed and upset and that sort of thing really. Now the funding to pay the trainees has been pulled and Amanda is urgently looking for help. We started off um, having a trainee here. We were working through um, another trust uh, and they were paying him a wage, which was fantastic. Uh, but I'm afraid the funding got pulled um, from them, so obviously they couldn't pay my trainees anymore. So now I'm looking for um, some funding to have the trainees get a wage um, so they can obviously have more fulfilment really doing the job. Trying to apply for funding is very difficult because you do have to jump through a lot of hoops to find funding and a lot of funding has already been allocated for the, sometimes till 2018. So you have to get in and you have to obviously let them know as soon as possible and that's, that's basically my problem at the moment. I need funding now, really. I've got one full-time employee and um, obviously I need about 18 to 20,000 for, for him to be sustainable here. Uh, and at the moment it's looking as though I might have to let him go because I haven't got enough funding to fund his wages. Amanda's hopeful the trainee scheme can continue and she's seeing that for her daughter Taylor and other trainees it has been making a difference. Um, I was surprised that she was coming in with me at half past six in the morning and, and working and, and really enjoying it and not complaining at all which was a surprise for me for uh, a young adult. Any work is normally a, a chore isn't it um, but she thoroughly enjoyed it and she doesn't mind coming in and, and you know, doing what she's doing so and she, as I say she's opened my eyes and I know it definitely works and with the other trainees that we've had on they've actually been amazing and we had uh, an email from one of them saying thank you for investing in me which I thought was really really sweet. I've got better with my money, the coffee machine and serving customers my confidence, it's got more grown since I worked here. And um, next step, are you going to take over this coffee shop maybe? Um, I might get my brother to do that. That's it. Nicole Ries, for that's Solent.